Welcome back. So in this part, we are going to see the Date Picker widget in Android. So start a new Android Studio project and name it as Date Picker and hit next. Next, choose empty activity, hit next and finally finish. And here is our application. So let us first get rid of this text view and drag a button which is going to so the dialogue dialogue to choose the date so it is going to say oh, choose date from dialogue okay now its button id is button so we need to go in the go into the main activity.java file and we need to create the object of button and we need to initialize or link this button with the XML. So it is going to be find view by id order id dot button. And we need to type cost And also we need to have some listener on this button so that we get notified or we can perform some operation when this button is clicked. So it is going to be on click listener and we have to override this on click method. Now, from this, we are going to open up the fragment. Now, let us actually create the fragment first of all. So, let me go to the Java folder inside our package and we can create the fragment here. So, let us name this as date picker fragment and hit OK. And this class is going to extend the dialog fragment. And we need to make sure that our minimum SDK is is of the level 11 otherwise this is not going to work so let, we need to override the on create dialog method and let us get rid of this statement first of all and in here we have to create some variables and it is going to be final and then calendar calendar equals to calendar dot get instance and for error we, need, we can do like this so calendar dot get and calendar dot day of month opposite is going to be air and for month it is going to be calendar dot get calendar dot month and for day it is going to be calendar dot get calendar dot day of month now we need to return the dialog so we can return this this dialog as return new dialog dialog okay it is dead picker dialog and it needs the five parameters and it is going to be get activity and this and here and then month and finally day so just come on this this and hit all plus enter and implement implement the on date set listener interface and we get this method to implement now we can just show the toast make toast so it is going to be get activity and in this we can have the date day of date and let's just separate it by the slash and again month and again separate it by slash and then year and we need to specify the toast length so it is going to be long and we need to show this and now we need to actually start this dialog fragment so we, we need to go to the main activity.java and we need to create the object of dialog fragment and it is going to be date picker fragment and new date picker fragment date picker fragment and we, we need to show this date picker fragment right so date picker, date picker fragment or show and we need to pass the great fragment manager and then a unique key let it be any 
unique key okay so it can it could be anything now let us run our project and here is our project so let me click this button and it is going to show up this dialog and we can choose so it is 2017 and it is february and the date is 23 so it should say 23 1 2017 this is because we are going to count from 0 in the case of month okay so let me click ok and it says 23 1 2017 so we can now let me, let me click this button once again and we can also change the year so let us just choose the 2013 and let me switch back to January and go for one so it should say one zero and 2013 in the toast so let's see one zero and 2013 so and I hope you got the concept of how you can use the date picker in Android so and I will see you in the next part